Hello, I wanted to do another flyer review here. Um, this flyer, uh, all the uh, logos and phone numbers and everything have been taken off so that um, we don't uh, embarrass anybody, but um, this is a flyer that we're going to look at that uh, is kind of a what not to do in some cases. So let me go through the seven things we look at. Um, the first thing we look at is a good first impression. Uh, does it have the right size, headline, color, etc.? Um, I would say for this flyer that um, this is fine in this regard. They've got, it's obvious what they're selling with these pictures and the colors kind of tell me pizza. Um, and so from that standpoint, um, I think we, we have a, f a fairly good first impression. Um, the second thing we're going to look at is five second rule. How much is gained in five seconds? Uh, same thing. I think for the most part, you understand what they're selling minus a, a, a logo here, but I think. Uh, within five seconds, I could easily figure out, okay, this is a pizza flyer. Um, number three, tells customers unique story. Uh, it's important that, you know, obviously in any market, but certainly pizza, um, there is, uh, you know, what, what do you have that's unique? And, you know, what, what makes what you sell any different than any other pizza place? I'd say this flyer doesn't do a very good job in this area. I, I don't see anything on here that really tells me anything product wise that they have unique um, or uh, any kind of offers that seem all that unique or, or anything like that so I would say not so good um, the fourth thing we look at is call to action is it easy to respond to what are the offers um, again this flyer is not the greatest uh, with regard to that um, we've got um, a little bit of uh, you know, second pizza discount, buy any large pizza, get the second for ten ninety nine, or any medium for eight ninety nine. Well, that sounds okay. When I go to the back here, I strongly discourage four dollars off, three dollars off, two dollars off. People really don't respond to coupons like that. We've seen that in the past. Um, it's much better to put the price. You, with pizza, you have to make it as easy as possible for people to order. And so put together a cheap pizza, put together a package that might be good for a family, and you'll be amazed at how many people will just order that package. Um, and then we've got some specials. Um, kids eat free. That's cool. 99 cent um, cheese bread. That's pretty good. I don't know how many people are going to order on a specific day just to get a specific offer. Uh, Tightwad Tuesday, two pizzas for $20. I'm not even sure that's really that good a deal. So um, at any rate, the cost to action on this, on this piece could use some work. Um, picture support message. Um, are there people used? What are the quality of the pictures? Again, this flyer is not very good. These pictures do not, they're okay, but they really don't make me salivate. Um, there's probably no reason to really even have a salad picture. No one's going to probably order that. The vast majority are going to call and get delivery. Um, so uh, I, I don't think that's very good. There's no pictures at all on the back. And these pictures don't make me salivate. So this picture might be, um, although. I'm not sure there's some toppings on here that some people might not even like so you have to be careful with that too um, how's the quality of the copy that's the sixth thing we look at um, the first thing we're gonna look at is the headline and, and we're not even taking advantage of any headline here we just got delivery and takeout don't need that don't need the phone number don't need the address on the front um, don't need the hours on the front so we've got just lots of wasted space here especially because when I go to the back um, We've got some of this information already. We could have put hours on here, um, and you know it just would have been a better use of space to use a lot more of this for a good headline um, and some salivating pictures. And you can hint at your offer on the front page. That's certainly nothing wrong with that. Um, but I think your back you really is where you want to have your offers. Um, how is the front back transition? Again, not so good on this piece. We've got kind of a green red feel to it and we go to the back and all of a sudden we've got a whole different color scheme um, I don't usually recommend that I, you want to have some um, uh, har harmony between your two piece uh, two, between your front and your back um, any industry specific rules I think we pretty much have already gone over those so anyway with those changes that I just mentioned I think you could make this piece a knockout piece and, and really have something going